quadratic equations. A train travels a certain average speed for a distance of 63 km and then travels a distance of 72 km at an average speed of 6 km per hour more than its original speed. If it takes 3 hours to complete the total journey, what is the original average speed of the train? It is given that the train travels an average speed for the first 63 km and then it increases its speed by 6 km per hour and then travels the 72 km. And it is also given that it takes 3 hours to complete the entire journey. We have to find what is the train's original average speed. That is before it increases 6 km per hour. For finding this, at first note that we have to find the original average speed. So we will form a quadratic equation with the variable x as the original average speed. That is, let x kilometer per hour be the original average speed of the train. Now, the increased average speed is given by x plus 6 kilometer per hour. Now, note the equation speed equal to distance by time. Now, taking time to the left and speed to the right, the time will become the numerator and the speed will become the denominator in this exchange and the new equation is time equal to distance by speed. We will use this time to compare these two journey or not for comparing we will make a connection between these two journey using the time because it is given that the three hours is taken to complete the total journey okay so for making the equation we will use the time as a bridge between the two parts of the journey. That is, the time taken to travel 63 km can be found out by the equation distance by speed. The distance is 63 and the speed for that journey is x km per hour. Hence, it is given by 63 by x hours. We will name it as T1. Now the next 72 km we will name it as T2 and which is given by 72 by x plus 6 hours. Now it is given the entire time taken for the journey is 3 hours. Therefore the T1 plus T2 will give us 3. Therefore, T1 plus T2 equal to 3.
Now substituting the values of T1 and T2, we will obtain 63 by x plus 72 by x plus 6 equal to 3. For simplifying the equation, we will multiply each term by x into x plus 6. By multiplying each term by x into x plus 6, we will obtain 63 in the both numerator and denominator and gives us 72x which is equal to 3 into multiplying x into x plus 6 into 3 we will get 3 into x into x plus 6. Now by simplifying this equation we will get 63x plus 378 plus 72x, 63x, 6 into 63, 378, plus 72x, equal to 3x into x, 3x square, 3x into 6, 18x. Now, again, by simplifying, by taking 3x square plus 18x to the left side, we will get 3x square plus 18x minus 135x minus 378 equal to 0. Again, we will obtain the simplified form and which is given by 3x square minus 117x minus 378 equal to 0. Now, we have 3x square minus 117x minus 378 equal to 0 as the simplified form of the quadratic equation from the previous result. Now, dividing each term by 3, we will obtain again a simplified form which is x square minus 39x minus 126 equal to 0. We will use the splitting the middle term method to solve this equation. That is we are going to find two numbers whose sum equal to minus 39 and product equal to 1 into minus 126 equal to minus 126. Easily we could see that the numbers whose sum is minus 39 is minus 42 and 3. That is minus 42 plus 3 equal to minus 39 and minus 42 into 3 equal to minus 126. We use these two numbers to split the middle term minus 39x. Minus 39 can be rewritten as plus 3x minus 42x and now we will consider the first two terms and then the next two terms. In the first two terms the x is common term to the both two terms and we will take x outside and x will remain in the first term and 3 will remain in the next term. That is x into x plus 3 will 
be the first term and we will consider the next two term here minus 42 is common to both the terms and we will take this minus 42 to the outside and it x will remain in the first term and 3 plus 3 will remain in the next term. Since we take minus 42 outside, the positive x will be the first term and the positive 3 will be the second term. And our equation becomes x into x plus 3 minus 42 into x plus 3 equal to 0. Now x plus 3 is 1 to the both terms and we can take x plus 3 outside and the equation is x plus 3 into x minus 42 equal to 0. Now we know that if ab equal to 0 either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 in that way x plus 3 equal to 0 will give x equal to minus 3 x minus 42 equal to 0 will give x equal to 42. Since it is related to speed, minus 3 is not possible. Therefore, our original average speed is given by x equal to 42. That is 42 km per hour.